proof of concept is used to retire a risk, uh, let's say in a diagnostic device, you would only make a consumable and you would only make a portion of that consumable to test out if that's going to work. Hey, Joris, here we are at the uh, Starfish Lunchroom here having mm -hmm. a bio break. And uh, you know, at the, at the water cooler over there, I often hear the terms prototype, proof of concept, and MVP used kind of interchangeably. And I wonder, uh, wonder if you could break that down for us a little bit. Thanks, Nick. That's a great question. Yeah, MVP standing for minimum viable product. Mm -hmm. um, so in, in the development world, we use these terms uh, in, for different things in the development program. And let me go through these uh, one by one. Okay. So the first one is uh, proof of concept. And a proof of concept is really used to build out part of your device or your product that you want to develop and use it for technical de-risking. So a proof of concept is used to retire a risk. Uh, let's say in a diagnostic device, you would only make a consumable and you would only make a portion of that consumable to test out if that's going to work. Gotcha. And it could be spanning relatively far, but it's generally not the entire device or the entire product. It's a part of the product, technical de-risking. So the second term you mentioned was a prototype. And a prototype is really the first attempt at putting all of that functionality in one piece. Right. Okay. So uh, a prototype can be used to test against your specifications. So generally, when you make a prototype, you don't know yet if you're going to hit your specifications. So it's used for uh, verification and validation. And there's multi multiple iterations of prototypes. So you can sure. have an alpha prototype or a beta prototype, right. but over time become more and more mature and hit more and more of your specifications. And then there's that last term that you mentioned. The, the MVP. Minimum, the MVP, the okay. minimum viable product. And the minimum viable product is a product that is, it's kind of a prototype, but it is actually verified and validated already, or at least a huge amount of the functionality is, has been verified or validated. And it's ready to be put in the hands of the end user, the final user. So it's really used to evaluate market adoption uh -huh. or user, usability in that kind of context. So a prototype, uh, an MVP, there's really a difference in maturity between those two concepts. Right, and I know often we'll use uh, you know, the, the spectrum of, of prototypes, right? We'll talk about alpha prototype, an alpha two prototype, a beta prototype, a pre-production unit. Where in that spectrum does the MVP fit or, or does it even fit in that spectrum? Is that appropriate to look at it that way? I think it is appropriate to look at okay. it that way. And MVP is a little bit more of a gray term. It's also a newer term. So okay. if you think about a prototype, when you make it and you don't know yet if your prototype is going to hit your specifications, your design inputs, then it's still a prototype. But when mm. you already know and evaluate your functionality of your prototype in, through an official VNV program, and you know that it hits most of your functionality requirements, then you can put that in the hands of a, of a final user and see if that minimum viable product there will have the, the value that you thought it would have. So your prototype can transfer into an MVP really through testing and through um, you know, making sure that, that it hits its, its design specifications. Okay. Generally, it would probably not be the first prototype, but it will be a later or more mature version of your prototyping Got. that will transfer into that MVP. Cool. Well, uh, thanks very much, Joris. That was a great bio break. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for that and uh, enjoy your day. Have a great day.